Hey guys, I've missed you so much. I feel so odd speaking to the camera because it's been a while. I've been in Europe and I had an amazing time and I'm really sorry I've been really off the grid in social media but that's because I really wanted a true break. Last year was just really intense. Like I'm a full-time financial planner. I do makeup freelance. I was studying and also YouTube as well so um, it got really hectic and I really really wanted a full-on break. I thought it might be helpful for you guys to share what I bought in London uh, because I like watching haul videos. Before I went to London I watched a few actually to give me some idea of um, what to expect and what stores that I would spend a little more time in. So I'm just going to jump right into it because there's quite a bit. There was a particular brand that you uh, wanted to focus on then check the description box because I actually give you the timelines so that you can skip ahead. To start off with beauty, the exchange rate was just brutal. Usually beauty items can be cheaper in London, uh, especially duty free. However, because our exchange rate was less than half, so one Australian dollar would buy you 42 pence. It was more expensive than the retail price in Australia, in Australian dollars, if that makes sense. I only bought things that I can't get at home. I was walking in Covent Garden and I didn't actually think I would come across a Space NK, but I happened to walk past one and I always wanted to get the uh, Luna Sleeping Night Oil by Sunday Riley. Use this for a couple of weeks now. It's really worth the price if you're looking uh, for anti-aging skincare. I always have to get Olatum when I'm um, in the UK. I first heard about this through the Pixie Woo sisters. Uh, this is NYX Holy Grail Moisturizer. I can totally see why they had it in boots and it was seven pounds. Yeah, really like this. I don't know if we have this at home, but they had um, in boots, they had the Nivea um, Sensitive Post Shave Balm for men. I actually got this for myself because Nikki Tutorials said that it's a great primer and I wanted to try it out. Boots had it on offer, so I thought even if they had it at home, I'll just pur uh, purchase it anyway because it's very rare that these kind of items um, are on special at home. I went to Neil's Yards Remedies, which is an England only brand. I really wanted to try out a new organic deodorant. So, so far, it's just okay. It's um, better than the Sukin one in Australia, um, but I don't know if it's powerful enough. I don't know if it's TMI, but I don't think it's powerful enough for my BO, to be honest. Um, but when it came to makeup, I honestly couldn't afford to go anywhere but the high street. Was I wanted to try the Sleek Blush by 3 palette and the one I got is in Lace. I just keep hearing some really great things about it, so I bought that one to try. I decided to get the um, Lasting Perfection Concealer from Collection. That's a mouthful. <laughs> I've got this concealer on under my eyes and it actually is very brightening. The texture is a, I would say it reminds me of the Urban Decay Naked um, Skin Concealer, except it's a little thicker and a little more drying. So you just have to be careful how you use this. But it's actually a really great product for the high street, I must admit. Now let's get to the exciting stuff. I went to Camden Markets and actually, I was disappointed at Camden Markets overall because so this was my third time at Camden Markets and um, I don't know each time it kind of gets a little less exciting um, and the reason for that is when I go to markets I'm looking for very unique handmade pieces um, and it just seems to be getting more commercial what I mean by that is just the items seem to be getting more like things that you could buy at um, high street stores like um, but I did find two retailers there that I spent so much time in and I really enjoyed this one I have to mention is a design a jewelry designer called Virginia the Wolf she makes jewelry from uh, real bones <laughs> like legit real bones like this. so this is a real bone and it's a necklace and I love the rose gold chain detail um, yeah, I just love how that looked. This choker, isn't that gorgeous? Like, look at that choker and there's a bone in there too. 
I don't think this is a duck bone. I forget what bone it actually is. Like it's a skull um, of an animal. By the way, guys, if you're an animal lover, don't worry. She's a vegan and all these bones are sourced um, after they're passed away. I don't know if that freaks you out, but I think that just makes it extra cool for me. It's always like a um, rabbit skull because it's so big. But I don't know. I'll have to check with her. Um, isn't that so unique and... I don't know, I just think it's gorgeous. This one I love, it's pastel. And um, this one's a smaller skull and it sits high up in the neck, but it's gorgeous. This one, it is um, got like gold leaf on it, but it's got this uh, kind of effect where it looks a bit like, um, like an oil stain, you know, like it's very multi-colored. <laughs> when I found out what bone this was, I was like, I have to have it. Like, it's really simple. It's like the rude part of a raccoon. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I just thought that was so cool. And um, that's actually a gift for someone. So, and I just couldn't pass getting one for myself because I just think that is such a cool, um, I don't know. I just think it's funny to have that kind of bone hanging off your body <laughs> this one I like it because it's like a little bit more like grungy and I've got it as a gift for someone as well I love the colors that she chose for this one and how it's just really dangly um, and it actually sits like when um, you wear it on the chain it actually will sit on the side so like it, it doesn't sit straight it'll, it'll go to the side like this and I actually think it makes it cooler like a bit more like asymmetrical kind of thing so the next store I went is called uh, Clo Clothes so they have an online store as well um, and Instagram and all that kind of stuff which I'll leave in the description box so I met the lovely girl who uh, hand makes these items and had a really good chat with her <laughs> don't you just love that print um, it's off the shoulder it's really really stretchy and I just couldn't go past this watermelon print it is a play suit um, and yeah it just fits really nicely it's so comfortable and this is like a standout holiday piece that I just had to have she was really nice too because I told her how brutal our dollar was and she like gave me a good deal um, because I was only going to buy one item and I couldn't decide between um, this or these mustard yellow pants. Now this isn't everyone's kind of cup of tea but I really like how wide and the length of this and the pattern's actually um, really textured and the material has a nice weight. Um, it's just very very flattering and it says cloth <laughs> it says clothes, clothes handmade in London so I just think it's so so cute uh, really really enjoyed that store and actually if I had it my way if I could afford it I would have brought the whole store home really so I'm going to quickly uh, talk about Zara because I only bought one item from Zara some of the items just weren't that great of a deal for me it's getting totally washed out um, anyway I saw this really nice spaghetti strap crop top um, in Milan and it was like I think it was like 40 euro which actually is a lot of money for such a skimpy top so um, but it's really beautiful I love everything about it um, and then I saw it for 12 pounds in the Covent Garden Zara I think it looks so great teamed up with high-waisted things ah oh, this light I have to fix you again sorry it just gets brighter and brighter so I'm just gonna let it be and I'm sorry for the glare the next store I went to was H&M and I did go a bit nuts because H&M London was um, they had their sale and what I decided to get was more the winter autumn stuff got this top really love it it was 10 pounds and it's just got these really nice flared sleeves I really love the pattern and the material is very comfortable but it still has enough weight to just sit very boxy and I actually really like that boxy look especially for autumn winter uh, you know you can walk around and eat as much as you want so who wouldn't love that right so really really love this top from H&M you can tell I'm obsessed because I actually got 
another boxy top <laughs> it's a beautiful lavender color which you can wear autumn or even spring and it's just a big sweater top I love the upturned sleeves I love the texture how it's got these stripes and um, yeah I just thought it was a really good deal I mean guys this was three pounds like <laughs> guys know that I love lilac so yeah it was a score for me this is how you know I'm obsessed because I got another boxy 70s inspired top now this you could wear as a dress as well because it's quite long um, but I like this it's different it's got a v-neck and it's a different color it's like a natural texture it's sleeves and just the texture of this it just screams 70s but in a very chic way and yeah I love it this was a bit more expensive the material is more substantial this was 20 pounds but it's totally worth it I mean look at it I went to the checkout and then I saw this and it was just one of those moments where I was like I have to have it it's this necklace here I love these necklaces um, you guys would have seen me wear a pearl one to death on this channel but um, I just really love how it sits on the shoulder um, I think it's just edgy enough but then the plastic because it doesn't um, cause any reactions on my skin in the summer so yeah I really like this necklace it was not on sale it was six pounds now for the really exciting Primark haul. I loved Primark this time. I don't think I have bought this many items from Primark in my life. And it was probably because of the exchange rate. Seriously, it probably was just because I was like, wow, I can afford this stuff. <laughs> I got these non-grip socks. They come with two pairs. Um, I already wore the green pair. It was a beautiful um, mint green color. I've already worn them and they're dirty, so I'm not going to show you those. Now, this is so worth it because they're the best seamless footsies that I've ever worn. They don't actually slip off your feet. Only £2.50, but I'm pretty sure they were like on sale for like a pound. And I really love Primark socks because they're just cheap and cheerful. Um, I got this really cute yellow pair. Um, it's got lace detail on the top and then... Um, it's ribbed and then I just thought this would be really cute to wear and I got these socks for the spring um, they've got like little cows no no actually they've got little sheeps <laughs> oh my god I'm terrible <laughs> and they've got like a peach toe um, and it's see-through and then they've got the peach um, elastic on the top I just think this would be really cute to wear as a statement sock with like heels or sandals so yeah, I went um, to the men's department because Byron was um, checking out some men's stuff and I found these men's ties. They're a cotton material. So this one is like aqua color sliced through some white and it's um, stripy. I love this. I'm actually going to wear it to work and it was one pound. So why not? I also saw this like, it's like a multicolored woven kind of tie. And um, it's like this really vintagey 70s color. It's very earthy. Um, but again, I like to wear ties to work with my business shirts. So uh, I'm going to wear these to work. And they're a pound each, so why not? I was chatting with this girl about this when we were just looking at it, and it was so cute. It's like a raincoat, um, it's got a hood. And look at that, like how cute, it's got a little zipper, um, this is just really handy for festivals or even travel, like imagine having this and just whipping it out whenever it rains, like it's very light and it's very easy to fold back up into your luggage or your bag, so you can actually fold it up and even tuck it in this part, um, like it's so handy, so um, why not? It was three pounds. I think this would have made perfect gifts for people and I should have actually bought some more but what happened was I went to Primark off Oxford Street the first day that we landed in London. I thought we'd come back and then I don't know we did come back but then I like, forgot to get these as gifts so yeah maybe that's another excuse to come back to London. <laughs> this um, off the shoulder crop top it's cotton it's um quite a decent material it's stretchy this one I got in navy blue and also this uh, red kind of like masala color 
So I got these two and uh, really excited to wear those. They were £2.50 each and I just think it's good basics to have in your wardrobe. Um, and then I also tried on a longer style of the cotton um, off the shoulder. This one has a thicker band just where the shoulder is. So it's just a different look. I think this is a bit more polished and less... Um, uh, a bit more polished and less casual. So I got this navy and white striped one, which I think is really, really classic and timeless. And then also black, which is um, classic and goes with anything. So that one's a little longer. I saw these um, overalls. They're, I think the British people call them dungarees um but yeah we call them overalls here in australia so they're just overall shorts they've got some uh ripped detail and the hem is just rolled up like that and yeah i like the wash i like that it's um in between like it's a medium wash it's not too light not too dark and yeah i just think for an item like this I wouldn't really want to pay too much for it because I probably wouldn't wear it that often. It's more like a trend piece. And so, what's the price on this one? This was £12, which even with the exchange rate is pretty good. So the other thing I got from Primark is this nice collared shirt. It's navy and white. It's made out of a really nice sturdy chiffon material. I love the pocket detail. It's very simple. The, um, the buttons are hidden and I think this looks really nice and chic for the office and I think it's a piece that I could wear to the office or out so I thought it was really versatile this was eight pounds and it looks so much more expensive than it is so um, I bought it so I could wear it to work I got these really nice printed pants um, they're quite wide they're like palazzo pants um, I love the cut of it at the front. It's really flat and um, I think that's very flattering. Um, and then the, in the back it's got an elastic so it actually fits really well. Um, I really like this for holidays and in the summer it's just a really easy and breezy look. They were £12 and I'm so excited to wear them when it gets a little warmer in Sydney. Now I actually didn't even pack anything warm and when we arrived in London uh, that day was really cloudy so I actually it inspired me to buy this cardigan from Primark it was only nine pounds it's this beautiful khaki color which is really in at the moment um, it's got pockets and it's a really nice long length and these cardigans are really in at the moment I just thought they were really um, it was really inexpensive it looks really nice on and it's really versatile so why not buy it anyway it looks quite boring on the rack but when you have it on it looks quite chic guys i thought that was it and then i looked at the rack that i've got here and i forgot to show you this jumpsuit i got from h&m it's actually one of my favorite finds this was 15 pounds and it's got these awesome split sleeves you can tell i'm i'm going through some kind of like flared phase <laughs> but this color it's coming um it looks really bright on camera but it's it's kind of like a um a bright masala so it's a little more dull than a normal red um but not quite maroon and i love how um flattering this is it's got a high round neck and then at the back it's got a very deep v Actually, I forgot to show you guys from Virginia the Wolf as well from Camden Markets. Um, these bone earrings, they're not too statement like and they're just very light on your ear. And like these are my favorite. They've got like little teeth at the end of it. I love this like mint green color and it's sprayed with like gold. And yeah, I just think they look so cool and fun. Thanks for watching my haul guys, I hope you enjoyed it and if you ever get to visit London then I highly recommend visiting those stores. I hope you all have a lovely day and I look forward to seeing you soon on YouTube land. Bye!